and welcome back to my channel. You may notice we are in a different setting today. That is because I've got a very exciting video for you. For the last few weeks, we as a family have been trialing the Dyson Pure Hot Cool Link Air Purifier. So, it is an air purifier, but it's also a, a hot a heater and a fan as well. So I'm gonna give you a few of my thoughts on this today and show you a little bit of how it works and I'm gonna insert a few little screenshots of the app as well because it actually is a really high tech gadget and you can control it via an app on your phone. So it's really super exciting. So without any further ado, let's get started with this review. So when we first got the Dyson, we just had to set it up on our phone. So basically we had to download the Dyson Link app, which is a free app, and set up our Dyson via the Wi-Fi. So the actual machine does connect to the Wi-Fi, so you can control it through your app. And I'm going to insert some little uh, screen grabs of us on the app now. Basically what the app shows is it can show the air quality. So because this is an air purifier, it can help to purify the air within your home and get rid of some of the, those toxins and nasties that can be in the air. So the Dyson app, the, the Link app, is really handy because it shows the air quality on the outside of your home as well as on the inside of your home while the Dyson is on. So it's a really great way of you being able to see how it is working. Now for us this was really handy. I live in Perth, Western Australia. We have a lot of back burning here. So if you don't know what back burning is, basically there's a lot of bush area and the uh, authorities do a bit of a controlled burn of the bushland so that when summer comes when it's really hot and we have bushfires uh, the fire breaks are already there so it's harder for bushfires to get out of control which means that people's homes and lives aren't in danger so in the cooler months they do a bit of the back burning now what tends to happen in Perth is that the winds or the air tends to carry all that smoke so the entire city is sometimes covered in stinky smoke um, it, 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 we all know that it's, it's for a good reason, that back burning needs to be done, but it can make it a little bit tricky to breathe the air, it can make everything a little bit stingy, and people with asthma and breathing difficulties can find it difficult. Now, we used the Dyson whilst we were having those air quality issues outside the home, and I'll tell you, it really noticed a difference because I didn't even notice that it was smoky until I went outside. Usually the smoke will get into the house and we do sort of notice it uh, and it's a very, it's not a pleasant smell and it can make it a little tricky to breathe the air as well. So I found that the Dyson was really handy for um, those days when it was a little smoky outside. And of course with the app we could see that air quality inside versus outside. The other great thing about having the app is you can actually control the, system, the um, unit you can control the unit <laughs> uh, from out from another room. So what we did was we did trial it a few nights in Matilda's room uh, because we have had some really crazy weather here. It's been super cool in the mornings and in the evening and then quite warm during the day. So um, when she went to bed it wasn't crazy cold but towards the uh, later in the evening and then in the early mornings it was getting a lot colder and then of course she would wake up because she would be cold so we were able to pop the Dyson in her room and we could control it on our phones on the app so that we knew that it was a steady temperature and we could tell it to actually maintain um, a steady temperature which meant a much more comfortable night's sleep for her and for us because we didn't have to wake up and go into her or worry about what clothing she was wearing that kind of thing um, so the app was really handy for that as well because we could tr control it. Another great thing was <laughs> if I was sat on the couch and uh, I couldn't find the remote because it does have a remote, um, it meant I could put the heater on or the fan on or without getting up because <laughs> I'm lazy. Uh, but the other great thing about that is there is a remote so when I could find the remote I could just switch it on. Now I will show you, hopefully it will work, because we're live right now. Live on YouTube, not really live. Okay, so 
has a little rotate function, so you'll see, I feel like I'm in on Sale of the Century. Ever, do you remember that show? Am I showing my age now? Sale of the Century showing the showroom. So you can see it does rotate, so when you have it on the heat or the fan function, or even um, just purifying the air, um, there is an auto function that you can put it onto for that uh, reason. Um, even when it's rotating, it you know, there's no sort of moving parts, there's no um, heating element, so it's not overly hot, so if you do have little hands, little fingers that like to get into things like I do, not me, my the little fingers, um, there's no sort of moving elements, there's nothing dangerous um, that they're going to be able to touch and hurt themselves on, and there's nothing super hot, so you're getting the heat, you're getting the um, warmth of the room, but you're not worrying about them touching any hot elements and burning their hands as well. And one of the best things we found about the Dyson um, with the air purifying was uh, <laughs> the taking away of cooking smells. So um, my husband, he's a good cook. Uh, no, he really is. He's a great cook, but he likes to do things like uh, sear steaks in an extremely hot pan and things like that, which creates a lot of smoke or uh, it, it's smoke. And it tends to fill our kitchen and sort of just sit in the air. And it, it's, it's not a pleasant smell. Uh, and it sort of makes the room all smoky. You feel like you can't see. One of the surprising things is when we had this on, the cooking smells and the smoke disappeared like that. And we have never had that. We used to have to open every door, every window in the, in the kitchen, in the lounge, um, to sort of get that smoky smokiness out. We put the extractor fan on in the kitchen but it still wouldn't get it all out. But with this it seemed to get rid of it so quickly that we didn't have to open any windows. We didn't have to worry about being cold and, and filling the place with smoke because the Dyson seemed to clear all the air out. So <laughs> it, it's they, they do say, you know, it's great to eliminate cooking smells but it was probably my favourite feature of the whole thing because I hate there's nothing more than I hate when you've finished a meal and the, the smell, the like, cooking is still hanging in the air. And it's not a pleasant smell to be hanging after you've finished the meal, you've done the dishes, you've, you know, you're done with it. You, you want to get rid of that sort of mustiness in the air. So this machine was really handy for that. Uh, so hubby, you can cook up a storm, you can make anything you like and it's going to get rid of all those sort of nasty smells or I mean I guess if you were to burn something <laughs> this would be really helpful. Luckily we didn't have to use it for that but I know in the past um, I have been known to do things like uh, leave a pot of rice on the stove and forget about it. That was a few years ago but you know if you were to ever do something like that this would be really great for clearing the air. So that is the Dyson Pure Hot Cool Link Air Purifier. I definitely would recommend it, if, especially if you're looking for options of heating and cooling your baby's room. Um, with that app, it just makes it so handy to maintain that temperature throughout the night. You're not going to disturb them by going in and seeing if it's too hot or too cold. You're not have, going to have to have that anxiety over dressing them. I know last winter I was so worried when Matilda was a baby. I, you know, we were so worried about dressing her because we didn't want her to overheat. We didn't want her to be cold. But um, the temperature could change so much from the time when we would put her to bed to midnight to the morning that it was that anxiety of what are we going to put her in that's going to keep her warm throughout the night but not overheat her. This is a really great piece of mind, uh, piece of equipment um, because you've got that app, you can see the temperature and you can adjust it if you need to. So mummies out there, daddies out there, that especially if you've got a newborn and they're sleeping in another room to you, this is a lifesaver with that app. I cannot stress to you enough how much I would have appreciated this last year so I didn't have that anxiety or wanting to check on her every five minutes when she was in a different room to us. So for that reason alone, I would definitely recommend it. I've loved using it in my office during the day when I've been cold and I've been able to have this on as a heater. It heats up the room really quickly. I can adjust the temperature if I want. I can maintain it at a steady temperature. Um, and it's really super easy to use and also it's really light and portable so it's super easy to move into different rooms. We're in my lounge right now, 
We have it at our lounge, in our kitchen dining area, we have it in Matilda's room and I have it in my office. Super easy to lift up and to move. It's got the remote. The remote just um, sticks on the top. It's going to run, does it say? So the remote just sticks on the top like this um, as a magnet. So you don't lose the remote, which with a tiny remote like this, you would probably think it was easy to lose, but that's a really ingenious way of storing it. And then you also have the app to control it anyway. Like I said, light, portable, you can take it anywhere you want, anywhere in the house. And then of course there's the air purifier function. So if you're someone who suffers from asthma or breathing difficulties, if you've got allergies, um, Matilda often wakes up with a stuffy nose, so that this can really help with that. Um, we put it in our bedroom when my husband was sick and I didn't get sick. So, and that for me has never happened. If one of us has a cold, usually the other person will. Um, we put this in the few nights that he was feeling unwell and I didn't get his germs. So for me, that was an amazing um, sort of testament to the product and I was very grateful that I didn't get a cold. Um, <laughs> So, um, because we all know when mums get colds, it, it doesn't mean anything. You just have to keep on keeping on. Anyway, moving on. So, highly would recommend this. I'm going to pop a link down below in, um, in the description to where you can have a look at this on their website and you can have a look at the more, more details. Don't forget to check out my Instagram page as well because there's a few photos of us on there using it. Um, and yeah, if you've got any questions, just pop them in the description, um, in the comments box down below. I'd love to answer any questions you might have on this. Um, I know when I first was setting it up, I thought it was going to be really difficult with the Wi-Fi and the, all of that, and the app and all of that, but it's actually really super easy to use, even for someone like me who gets a little bit of tech anxiety when I can't figure something out. I sort of get a little bit like, oh no, and I just hand it to my husband and say, you do it. Uh, but this was really super easy to set up. So definitely go check it out. Um, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well, because there's a lot of uh, more frequent updates than I put on my YouTube channel. I'd love to post more on my YouTube, but videos, I love doing videos. They're just a little bit time consuming. Uh, but Instagram, I post there nearly every day and I've got my stories too. We've got a lot of exciting things coming up on the YouTube channel and also on my Instagram account. So please, please, please make sure you click that subscribe button. I would love it if you could please subscribe to my channel. We are getting close to 600 subscribers. I cannot believe it. It's nearly the one year anniversary of my YouTube channel as well, which is just insane. Um, it feels like I started this channel 50 years ago, but it also feels like yesterday. So I'm not entirely sure how that works, <laughs> but that's where we're at. So uh, click subscribe, like the video, comment down below. If you've got this machine, please let me know how you like it. Um, and until my next video, I will see you later. Bye.